Uh, this evening's Mass will be offered for Richard Sweeney, and today we celebrate the, the Feast of the Queenship of Mary. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family. With confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness where he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you bring us strength in time of trial. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You bring healing to the sick and the suffering. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who made the mother of your Son to be our mother and our Queen, graciously grant that, sustained by her intercession, we may attain in the heavenly kingdom the glory promised to, to your children. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, and God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwell in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing. As they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as men make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaker you have smashed as on the day of Midian. For every boot that trampled, that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. Upon his shoulder dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever and ever. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. Blessed, Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord, our God, who is enthroned on high, and looks upon the heavens and the earth below. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor, to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. Blessed, Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. forever. Galilee called Nazareth 
to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But Mary was greatly troubled at what was said. And she pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with the man? And the angel said to her in reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. And then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We've heard this Gospel read so very, very many times. <clears throat> and Mary, a young girl, the time, at least in our estimation, 14 or 15 is what they estimate what the age might be. She was upset. She was afraid. And the angel tried to assure her, don't be afraid. But we can identify with that situation not as far as bearing a child, but certainly being afraid. We get depressed from time to time. We feel lonely. We feel rejected. Our feelings are hurt. We find it hard to forgive. There's a long list of worries that weigh heavily upon us, and we are afraid. And we pray, and it just doesn't seem. Peace doesn't come to us immediately. In fact, for some, peace doesn't come for a, a very long time, maybe a matter of years. But we trust in the Lord, and we find the angel trying to console her and say, everything's going to be okay. The Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit will come upon you and everything will be done according to the will of God. We have our doubts, though. Many people turn their back on God and say, why should I trust you? I was told to ask and you shall receive. Well, with God there is no time. The only time that really matters is when we come into this world and when we leave this world. We know age is very relative. The young as well as the old die. And sometimes it's the most painful death. And sometimes it's a very unhappy life. But yet the Lord is with us every step along the way. So never give up. Trust in the Lord and believe. That he is with you always. Now, if you'll stand, please, we'll have our general intercession. <clears throat> mm. Trusting in the Lord's mercy, let us bring our, before him our prayers and petitions. For the church, may the spirit of truth strengthen all to proclaim with clarity and zeal the truth of the kingdom 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For elected officials and all who hold positions of authority, may the Lord guide them in their work defending the sanctity of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are homebound or unvisited, may Jesus' healing and consoling hand be upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For members of this community, may God open our hearts to the goodness of his love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Richard Sweeney, for whom this Mass is offered, and our own deceased loved ones and parishioners, may all receive the blessing of a new life with Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lord, for our own special intentions, which we now include in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Loving God, hear our prayers and grant us your mercy. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours <coughs> may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good laws of eternity. As we observe this memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring you our offerings, O Lord, praying to be given strength by the humanity of Christ, who offered himself to you on the cross as the unbellished oblation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. Spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise and bless and glorify your name on the feast of the Queenship of Mary. For by the outshadowing of the Holy Spirit, Mary conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. To whom the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, 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 of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Alfred, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Richard Swinney and all of our deceased loved ones and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Elizabeth of Hungary and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. 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 Let us offer each other the sign of peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you we take, take away the sins of the world, world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. For I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Having received this heavenly sacrament, we humbly pray, O Lord, that we who reverently celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary may merit to be partakers at your eternal banquet through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. I want you to say yes. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Say, my Lord, we are the angel. We are the battle. We are the protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him in the way. And do thou embrace the heavenly host. By the power of God, past and in hell, Satan, and all of these curious, the proud of the world, seeking your own souls. Amen. Have a good night. God bless you.